So you just wrapped up your video project. Your video looks perfect in the Premiere Preview, but when you go and export it, the final render comes out desaturated with low contrast. Ah, so frustrating. But don't worry, there is a fix for this. Let me show you. My name's Luke Sievers, I'm a video content creator, and I provide weekly content marketing tips that I think you'll find helpful. So take a second and subscribe below so you don't miss any tips. So I was experiencing this same problem of my Premiere Pro export colors appearing different than the way it did in the Premiere preview window. As you can see from this example here, the color of my export appears washed out in comparison. Now, why is this happening? Well, the answer is a bit complicated, but it has to do with a gamma shift that occurs between different applications and browsers. I'll provide a link to an article below if you wanna read up on that, but in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix desaturated colors in your Premiere export. Step one, visit the link in the description below to download the free gamma compensation LUT, which we'll be applying to our project. Step two, in your Premiere project, open up the export window and choose your preferred export settings like usual. In step three, we're going to add our LUT by going to the effects tab. We'll click the checkbox under Lumetri look slash LUT and then under the drop down menu, hit select. Now we'll find where we saved the QT Gamma Compensation LUT. Now if the box here still displays as none, don't worry, this is just a bug. It did still apply it, and we can check by turning it on and off, and you'll notice the difference. You'll also notice that in this preview window, it appears a lot darker with extra contrast, but don't worry, it's going to look right in the final render. As an optional step, you can choose to save this as a preset, so you'll save time in the future, and the LUT will be applied alongside your other settings. And so the last step, hit render. And when it finishes, you'll see that it appears the way you edited it in Premiere. And of course, it looks much better than that first export without the LUT. Now again, if you found this helpful, please hit the subscribe button below to support the channel. And you'll want to check out this video next, which I think you'll get a lot of value out of. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.